Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a haul video. I'm kind of excited because I haven't done a haul in a while and I guess you could call this my back to school. Although I have to say my style doesn't change very much, I just love being very comfortable and I am very lucky to be at a job that I can wear pretty much whatever I want. Um, I might change like adding a sweater or a jacket or my shoes instead of flip flops I wear boots but majority t-shirt and jeans is, or nice blouse is what I like to wear um, every day regardless of my job or not and so that's I'm just going to be sharing with you what I got I do plan on going to uh, the mall this weekend so anything I buy um, from there I'll just add on to this video I might just look a little bit different if I end up buying anything and my sister ordered from Colourpop and I snuck in a couple of things so hopefully that will come in as well. I'm really excited about that one because I've heard such great things and I got a couple of lip liquid li lipsticks. Okay, so let's get started with this haul. Uh, so my computer or my laptop, after I upgraded to Windows 10, the external devices that I had on there just stopped working. I don't know if it's a driver situation. I don't know that much about it. But I just had to buy a couple of new things, so I want to share that with you in case you're having problems and need to know what directions to go to. Uh, so this is from Amazon. It's the Anchor 7 port hub with charging port. I have a bunch of USB cords that I need to stick into my computer. Um, so I got this one. I had a Belkin, but again, I don't know if it, that thing got bad or it was the Windows 10 upgrade. I think it's a little bit of both. So I got this one. You might not need the 7. They have a 3 or if you need a lot more they have 10. This one is from Target. This item it's the Netgear AC 1200 high gain Wi-Fi USB adapter. This works really really well. My router is very far from me and so this picks it up and it picks it up pretty well so I am really happy I got this from Target. It, um, these things were together more than a hundred dollars so it's kind of annoying that you upgrade to you know this windows 10 and then you have to also upgrade everything else that you have uh, but i think this is going to be microsoft said they're just going to um, focus on windows 10 and not have like a windows 11 or something like that uh, next are these washcloths from jc penny i my mom gave me a coupon spend ten dollars get ten dollars uh, back so I got one for, a set for her and a set for me they were $5.99 each so I just had to spend two dollars for 16 washcloth and one of the reasons which I um, if you follow me on Instagram you know that I had kind of like a major life event I got LASIK eye, uh, LASIK eye surgery and it's just been life-changing if you want me to do an in-depth in-depth video on that I will try to do one just let me know but it's been life-changing I have worn glasses since I was about I don't know third grade fourth grade nine ten and I've been a contact lens wearer for since I was 15 um, so it's just been so nice and different one of the things they don't tell you though is uh, the fear that you have that your eyes will just go back to the way they were so it's like I'm like waiting for my eyes to um, not be able to see as well as I have. I have 20-20 vision now and it's just it's just been amazing. Uh, but how this relates to the washcloth is the first week you cannot get any water in your eye at all. They even recommend and give you goggles to wear in the shower. Uh, so I had to kind of figure out a way to wash my face without getting water in it. So I would lather up my face with my face wash, wipe it off with the washcloth, um, and then use the washcloth again to uh, wring out the excess wet water and just wipe my face until I got all the soap off. So that's how I wash my face. I only had like one washcloth, so um, I don't need to have all these now, but it's nice. They give you two of each color, so you get um, this one with the design, then you get three solids to each. So I thought that was really a good deal. Go to JCPenney if you're looking for cheap bathroom supplies. Uh, next is a pair of sunglasses. Now I have been on my soapbox and said polarized sunglasses are the best and I still think that you can really tell a difference when you wear polarized and when you don't. Um, I do have a pair from Warren Parker that I love. Uh, the thing is they are they don't have uh, the nose bridge thing 
and so because I have a flat face there's nothing for the glasses to kind of hang on to besides my ears um, uh, so they'll fall off especially in the heat they will just melt with my makeup and they'll start up here and then they'll go down um, so I want to get another pair of polarized sunglasses aviator style if you have any recommendations let me know I was at Nordstrom and I have been obsessed for a long time now with uh, getting a pair of flash flashers or a pair of mirrored sunglasses. I don't know if they're the same thing, but I think they mean the same thing. Ray-Ban have uh, the flash sunglasses in this blue and green, but it's like $200 and I don't want to spend that much for a trendy item. So I saw these at Nordstrom. They were 50 something dollars and I love them. They're not polarized, but they satisfy that craving and um, I will still, I'm, I'm after this pair, I think I'm only going to get polarized, but these are just so cute. Here they are. I love them. I think they are just, I love the color. I like the way they fit. They have the nose bridge here, so um, they don't fall off my face. And just, they're just so cute. They're rose gold. Um, and the price was right. This is Quay Australia. It's called Cherry Bomb. Um, they kind of have like that cat eye a little bit, but it's not too pronounced. Um, yeah, Ginger's so cute. So I, I just love them. And like I said, they satisfy that craving for the mirrored sunglasses look. The only thing is, if you have Quay sunglasses, you probably know this, but the lenses are like a spray on. So if you, I would be scared to have my fingernails near there because you, once you scratch them, that's it. They're you can't really fix them so um just be careful i even carry it with, like around this and i'm gonna put them in a case just because they are just so cute and i don't want to mess them up but if you have like i said any recommendations for for um polarized aviator style sunglasses let me know because that's my next purchase that's what it's going to be and then i'll be set with sunglasses okay uh clothes i love old navy for their basics i get a lot of t-shirts and high neck tank tops which i did again they were having a 40 percent off sale and just i stocked up so one of them is this t-shirt right here it's called the relaxed hem these are just so comfortable and they wash up really well and they last a long time i have another one that's in this burgundy color and i love it i especially love the sleeve and this is gonna sound kind of funny but so you can see when you raise your hand that it covers your underarms and I know for me in the fall and winter I don't shave as much well now I don't shave at all because I do the laser hair removal but when I used to I would have to worry about oh is the sleeves too short is my hair like you know is the hair gonna show but these you don't even have to worry about it these are just so great and I got this color uh, the sides are a little bit different but this is still a relaxed hem but this side this one opens this one does not uh, but this is the color slate. They're just so so comfortable. Love them I used to be also obsessed with Old Navy jeans until I moved on to style and coat. Those are my favorite now But Old Navy does have really nice jeans Then here is the high neck tank top. This is a heather gray. I also got this kind of like green color um, and then this is a purple and fuchsia color but these are the high necks and they do come with different style first uh, I'm sorry uh, they just had these for now but they sometimes do have other styles and I wore the ones that I had so much that I needed to get some new ones and I like these uh, because of the high neck I feel like when you have a bigger bust it's just a little bit more comfortable for you if you have to bend down or if you're moving a lot um, these are just and they're hard to find I don't know really of any other place that does high neck tape tank tops that you can have different colors and things like that uh, but they're really really nice and again they wash up well and I feel like I could wear these to work without feeling like I'm showing off too much or anything so these are really nice okay uh, JC Penny I have two shirts this one is by Disney it's so cute uh, I think I'm gonna wear this for work since I work at a school I think the kids would appreciate this it's just so cute and it's like um, I forgot my sister told me what the name of this was um, there's a specific name for this style of Mickey and Minnie and then next is this this is gonna be for pajamas this is Bell and Sky or Bell Sky excuse me 
all I care about is pasta and like three people. Uh, the number might be a little bit different, but I really love pasta and I thought this was a great shirt for pajamas and it's so soft. So, um, JCPenney really has cute, uh, cute graphic t-shirts if you're into them and they have this brand called, I think, Stylus. It's a really great band, a brand. They have a lot of basics, cardigans, um, plaid shirts, or, uh, plaid dress-up shirts and pants and just, they have really nice stuff. Uh, that's work appropriate, I feel like. Some of you might enjoy. Then for Macy's, I have... This is... Uh, Vince Camuto uh, Bright Red Orange uh, High Low Tank Top and Tank Blouse. And I really like the extra detail they put on here. And then the back, there's some pleating. I thought that was a fun pop of color. Bar 3 is another favorite brand of mine from uh, Macy's and I saw this and I thought this was so cute I really fell in love with the print I like the ruffles at the bottom it is racerback which is not my favorite style of tank but um, I just loved everything else so much that I decided to get it I just there's something about this that I really really like and it's just so dainty yet it's I don't know it's pretty so I got that and then, as I mentioned, Style & Co, I got a pair of gray jeans. And this is, just so you know exactly what to look for, uh, this is the Slim Leg Tummy Control High Waisted, or uh, High Rise. I like that just because if you have a little bit in the stomach area, it goes over the pooch and uh, makes you look a little bit more flat. Uh, so I got the gray, I got this dark blue, which is a really nice dark blue. And this green, I needed to um, up, upgrade my jean selection because I've been wearing just the same ones over and over again. And they just are really nice. They fit well and they do petite. It's so important. I love a company so much more when they do petite sizing because I'm only 5'3 and I need petite. So I really appreciate that. Okay, uh, oh, you know what, another funny story is I went out to a Portuguese restaurant tonight and I was in the bathroom, uh, we were waiting for the check. I come out and like the waitress and my boyfriend are over my bag like cleaning something up and she spilled, I don't know, she was like stacking up dishes and I guess she spilled. But the thing is, she spilled it into my bag so there was like rice in there and it was oily and just... I had to, I had to uh, wash it. So it was my long chomp bag, which was, I was kind of upset about. Um, but it was an accident, so what are you going to do? So that was an interesting event. That's why all my clothes have stains on them and stuff. It's just always a, an adventure when I go out to eat. But I was able to, I think I got the stains out. I'll find out tomorrow after the bag dries. Okay, so next is beauty related or yeah beauty related stuff uh the first is the elf daily hydration moisturizer now this is supposed to be for during the day but i was looking for something for night and i noticed that this didn't have um spf so i thought oh, why don't i try for nighttime and so this is my next nighttime moisturizer i haven't even opened it yet let's see So it looks like this. It says, I really like the packaging by the way. This is a really pretty color. Uh, it says, this lightweight, lightly scented moisturizer helps hydrate and nourish for glowing, healthy looking skin. Infused with purified water and skin nourishing jojoba, aloe, vitamin E, and cucumber to help soothe and protect the delicate skin area. You know, this sounds like it's going to be really nice just because I do retin-A sometimes and the face, it just needs a cooling thing after you do that I feel like so hopefully this works out and if it doesn't work out for night maybe it'll be good for day uh, then we have uh, I needed a nail strengthener this is OPI one and I think part of it well my nails have always been pretty brit brit brittle and they like to chip so that's an, that's one of the main reasons and I think after I did the gel I took them off wrong so my nails got even worse uh, I still will get the gel manicure. I'm thinking about doing it before school starts just because 
it's a treat and I don't have to worry about it. Uh, next is the Maybelline. Oh, the the rest of the stuff is Maybelline, and I got the nail. Oh, this Elf is from Target, and the rest is Wegmans. So this is the Maybelline Define and Fill Duo. It's the you, so you get defining pencil and filling powder. That's what it looks like here. So that's step one, step two. And I got it in deep brown. Hopefully it's not red because that's what happens. That's usually when I get a brown pencil at a drugstore, it leans red and it just looks kind of funny with my black hair. Um, but I'm excited to try this. Then here is uh, the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in Nude Flush. This is new to me. I think it's been out for a while, but I haven't bought a lot of new makeup. So it looks like this, this reminds me of the NYX soft matte cream, soft cream mattes. What are they called? I just had it. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Soft matte lip cream. Okay, so the ones that look like this, I feel like they wear the same on the lips. They're pretty pigmented, but they don't stain or stay on the lips for a long period of time. This color is really pretty. I think it's a little too light for me. But I didn't really like the other colors that they had. But I think a lot of you might enjoy this. It's like a really baby pink. A hint of, you know, that rose pink. So, got this. Doesn't stay very long on the lips. I tried it out. And um, you could just, you, if you touch your lips, it'll come off on your hand. So, it's not a liquid. Don't let the liquid in the name fool you. Next is this Maybelline lipstick it's midnight merlot and it's from the bold line and they have some crazy colors i kind of want to get the black and the the blue and the purple but i just i just don't have the guts to wear it during the day if you do you are awesome because those colors are crazy but in a good way uh so this is what i've been wearing uh throughout the video i love this color i feel like this is the new uh, for 2016 the new divine wine that was a really dark color it was really popular uh, let me just swatch it for you but this is even darker and more vampier I love this color and I guess that's one thing that does change for me I haven't really worn darker colors throughout the summer but I definitely am now that um, I'm not trying to rush away summer but I love wearing darker lip colors for fall and winter so uh, that is my haul um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and are getting ready for the school year if you haven't done so already. I know some places have started. Um, so uh, for the new season, I just hope that you guys are healthy and happy. And I've been doing pretty well. This just, you know, I'm continue on, continuing on with the laser. Uh, and I got LASIK eye surgery and I... Um, I uh, have a couple of big things coming up for me hopefully that will work out and um, just I'm very happy that school is starting again just because I love the structure I've been having a really relaxed summer which I'm not complaining about but um, I do have a tendency to like kind of just stay in a rut and you know just stay up late uh, wake up late and I like the structure that um, it brings me so I'm very happy to I'm not going to be happy about the compute, but I'm very happy to uh, get more of structure back into my life. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I might see you back again with that other one. If I don't, I will talk to you very soon. And that's it. Bye. Hi guys, it's Sam, and I did decide to come back. I picked up a few things that I wanted to share with you and to also show you uh, the Old Navy high neck tank tops, how high they come and what they look like. So I feel like this is a really nice length. And again, if you have to bend down and pick up something and I have to be on the floor a lot and pick things up because I do work at a school, so I just feel more comfortable um, with this height and I still feel like you see a lot of neck and chest area just not your girl so I really like these the only thing I would make note of if you are interested in person purchasing the high neck is to keep in mind the regular petite and long sizes I got the regular I must have gotten the petite last time I don't know why I forgot the difference uh, but the regular do does go over my butt whereas the petite does not and 
that's kind of important just because I am going to keep these. I like having the option of having the longer uh, tank top because they do go over my butt and I could wear leggings with them. Um, the only reason I like the petite is because I could wear, I feel like they look a little bit better with uh, pants and jeans. Uh, but I am going to keep the ones that I got in regular. Just just keep that in mind okay so I was at the mall and uh, elf store is opening up there which I'm kind of excited about because I go to this mall a lot and it'll be nice to go to the store and like be able to swatch hopefully you can swatch I'm not sure uh, if you can but I'm sure you will be able to just see um, elf just by itself so that'd be kind of cool uh, so I was looking for a pair of comfortable walking shoes or boots or you know something like that or flats that are cute looking but also comfortable i'm gonna be on my feet a lot and that's what i was looking for it last year but i just kind of gave up um and so i'll be on the lookout again i i know easy spirit naturalizer clarks i've been looking at those kinds of places but i just haven't seen anything that doesn't look like something my grandmother would wear i feel like a lot of comfortable shoes are made for the older woman's foot and so it's been kind of hard to find something that I uh, think looks stylish as well so um, that was a bust but I did get some things the first place I'm gonna show you is Lush and I like Lush I feel like they are pretty expensive and uh, I just don't buy from them a lot I feel like it's kind of like a treat when I do buy from them so I got a couple of bath bombs I get very um, somebody on my Facebook feed was they used the intergalactic one I think it's called and the colors are just it was beautiful so I kind of um, it got me inspired to get a couple of bath bombs and I don't know the name hopefully they're on here okay they are so I got the blackberry bath bomb which I think is the blue one yeah so it looks like this just blue and it just has that I don't know like fresh uh, floral scent not too floral but it kind of smells like a really nice perfume which I like and then the other one was Sakura and I think this one is fruitier or sweeter it's a cherry blossom so floral yeah no these both are the types of scents that I like they're just kind of clean yet there's a underlying floralness to it so I am excited and I'm probably going to split these up into uh, you know you can cut one in half so I'll have four of them and I have used a bath bomb once before but I kind of split it up with my mom and it was a white one so you didn't really you weren't able to see it but I think with this one you'll see more blue the blackberry one I mean there are so many of them I'm sure you guys know uh, I know there's a, a big Lush community out there. Okay, next is, I love this brand. It's called Band Doe or Band Dot Doe. This one right here. And I've gotten a few things from them. They do more like accessory type things. And I saw these pens and I thought I would get them. They're called Gel Yeah and it's just a gel pen set. You get a green, pink, orange, yellow, blue, gold, and black, and I love these. I got them for school, and also just, I liked, I have uh, the adult coloring books, so I thought that would be cute to have, and speaking of this brand, um, it's just, I got this sticker book as well, but that was from a while ago. I think I showed this in a haul already. They just make really cute stuff, bags, uh, they do a lot of, like, uh, cups, coffee, coffee mugs, and tumblers. Okay, next, which you probably just saw there, I got uh, my favorite bra brand, which is Warner's. And this one is the Wire Free with Lift. I don't really need Lift, uh, but just these are just so comfortable. And I'll just I'll just show you. They look. This one is uh, looks like this, and then the other one, uh, which is probably one of my favorite styles, is I. So I got a black one. It looks like it looks like this. And it has a little hole in the middle there. Uh, these are just super comfortable. They give you support, but they also have really fun designs. And I have mostly the neutral colors, uh, but again, nothing beats comfort for me, and especially when you need support and to be comfortable. I have gotten rid of most all of my wired, uh, wired bras just because they are. It gets so uncomfortable. You can't wait to take them off. These I could wear all day and all night. They're just so they're that comfortable, and 
um, they're just really great so I would recommend it if you're looking for a bra that's comfortable and gives you support uh, and also got some underwear but I don't splurge on underwear I just get the Hanes or Fruit of Looms uh, I know I was passing Victoria's Secrets and they were having the seven for $28 uh, seven pairs for $28 and I thought that was a really good deal I might still uh, do that but I just I don't splurge on underwear so forgive me uh, but that is my haul school I mean work for me is starting real soon you guys know I had the summer off and um, I'm ready but not ready it's I've just been kind of like a sloth and so to get just right back into the swing of things is um, always gonna always gonna be a little bit more difficult but like I said before I am ready I want to get some structure into my life and um, I'm excited to go back because it's such a great community so I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon bye